ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, tea sippers. So it's about 9.30 at night. <laughs> it's been a long day. I am re-uploading my Stevie J video. Um... Earlier today, I had posted it and a lot of people were telling me to take it down. They were telling me to take it down because of like the sexual slurping noises that were in the video. Supposedly, another YouTuber had the same issue and they deleted her channel. And y'all know YouTube is on that censorship strong. But thank you so much, KIP and Smoke Dog for the warning. I took it down. The uncensored version, I went ahead and uploaded hours ago, like literally 30 minutes later. I uploaded onto my private video you know what I'm saying, stash. So if you're on Patreon, if you're on the YouTube membership, and if you're in the Discord. So everybody on those particular platforms were given the links literally hours ago. So you guys have all gotten a chance to watch it, but now I'm coming back and I'm doing the soft edit for YouTube. So that way people who don't have access to those links, they can still, you know, watch the redacted version of the video. And so I had to get ready for basketball games and stuff today, but now I'm home. Our team won. <laughs> so now I can finish um, re-editing this video. All of the slurps have been removed and redacted. Acted. Um, but I felt my commentary was still important. I still wanted my commentary on YouTube because I, for one, am tired of the disrespect when it comes to black media and especially people taking advantage of our own. When we see our own, we're a little bit too lax. You know, we act in a way that we wouldn't act if this was white media. And I just felt like, you know, this woman had put in a lot of work into her platform and building her brand. And the way he just totally disrespected her to me was uncalled for. So I'm going to go ahead. You guys can check out the video that I posted earlier. Like I said, everything is still shots. Um, the slurps and stuff are gone. If you want to watch the full unedited version, all of the links were provided hours ago. Everything has been posted on the perspective sites. So thank you guys so much for the support. And once again, thank y'all for always having my back. I really appreciate it. Talk to y'all later. Hey, tea sippers. Happy Saturday. So I wanted to come on here and talk about this video that's going viral all over social media. And now the white mainstream media is also picking up on it. So what's going down is this. I was tagged in a video yesterday on Discord. Um, and basically, it's a video of Stevie J. He's doing an interview with a woman named Leah. And Leah's asking him questions about his days in Bad Boy and loving hip hop and things like that. And Stevie J could care less. This man is so busy. He's first of all, he's not dressed. He's completely naked. He's getting head from a random woman. You can hear slurping sounds as he's receiving head. I mean, the entire video was just extremely disturbing and extremely disrespectful. I want you guys to go ahead and check this out. I want to say, yeah. I think you addressed everything. I, I really appreciate the fact that you, you know, decided to do that. So in the very beginning, speaking of reality TV, um, one of the things that stuck out to me is when you said that I was real on loving hip hop because of the fact that um, I'm, I'm going to be me at 100 all the time. And you talked about in the first couple of scenes, the first few years that you were walking, because you didn't have a car. How's this right here? Yep. Stevie. You see this body right here? Hold on. Wait. It's a hair right there. Hold on. <laughs> Um, one of the things, you come from a big family. You have a lot of siblings, and you also have the same amount of kids that you had. Your father one of the things you talked about is your early upbringing, and you talked about the fact that your dad was a gospel singer. So you felt like he was definitely, like, supportive of you? Yeah, absolutely. From under Diddy's camp, under Bad Boy, like, in recently in the media talking about how they felt like they got the short end of the stick. Um, and you said- Yeah, but that's that, make sure my drawers, I mean, hold on, make sure my, hold on, make sure my I big- Put clothes. pants on, put pants on while you're talking to me. Your wife's tattoo is looking at me in my face. Yeah, that's my wife right I'm, there. I'm saying, your wife is looking at me and you half naked. She stared at me in my soul. She should. She should, exactly. So go put some panties on. Panties? The fuck, yo, 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 yeah, yeah, I got it fucked up. I'm doing this for my wife, too. Yeah, okay. I'm doing this for her, too. I actually did I ask you for something. 
Okay, so yes, uh, doing it for your wife. But I want to talk about love and hip hop again. Um, you talked about on your uncensored. All right, so you guys just watched that video. And like I said, you can literally hear somebody slurping him up. On top of that, you can tell he's making her feel extremely uncomfortable. You know, it's one thing to assume that he's shirtless, but it's another thing when he starts panning down and you can kind of see that he has on no pants. Now, What's really sad about this entire situation, because it's sad on several different levels. One, I get tired of the disrespect that black media is constantly getting. Because if it was not for the black blogs, the black micro blogs, and the black websites promoting people like Stevie J, he would not be where he's at currently. Okay? Let's not forget that while he was with Bad Boys and he was in the Honey video, talking about take that, take that, um, he fell off for years. No one really heard anything from him. He was, you know, in a lot of debt. When he came on to Love and Hip Hop, he didn't even have a car. This man was walking. And she even asked him about that during this interview. So it was because of the blogs and black people supporting ratchet shows like Love and Hip Hop that Stevie J was able to find newfound fame amongst this generation. Many people, including myself, didn't know too much about Stevie J until Love and Hip Hop once I found out that he was behind producing a lot of my favorite tracks in the 90s with Bad Boy. So my thing is, it is black media that help reinvent you and put you back out there. And so to just disrespect this black woman to me was very disturbing. It's like, how sex addicted are you that you can't stop to one, put on a shirt and conduct a real interview but then, two, you're literally sitting here butt naked in bed, not paying her any mind, barely answering her questions, low key moaning. You know what I'm saying? You're getting your knob slobbed on. This was like just so disrespectful. And now it's being blasted not only on social media, but to the mainstream world that once again, black men are simply bucks. They're so overly sexed that they can't even take 10 minutes out their day to conduct a professional interview without having to get head in the middle of it. Now, we've been talking about this the past few days, you know, about body counts and little Dirk and things like that. That's been a big conversation on social media. And again, so many times we want to get mad at these young boys like NBA young boy and them for having a bunch of kids and being so, you know, sex crazed. But look where they're learning it from. Stevie J is in his 50s and he's sitting here on camera during an interview getting head. Like, come on. It doesn't get any more tacky than that. It shows that even as old as he is, he, he doesn't have enough sexual control and sexual restraint to say, hey, I'm about to do an interview. You know what I'm saying? Give me 30 minutes and we can go back to doing what it is we do. This wasn't a surprise. This girl just didn't randomly call him to do this interview. Interviews are planned well enough in advance, and we usually go off of the celebrity schedule. So it's not like she just popped up randomly while he was getting head. He knew that he had an interview scheduled with her. And kudos to her for maintaining her composure and trying to stay as professional as possible. But the amount of disrespect that he was giving her, it really irked me. I don't care if he just got done tooting a line or he was drunk out his mind. There was no reason for him to do that and then to almost show her his peen. I mean, my thing is, I know for a fact that if this was white media, if this was E! News, if this was, you know, uh, Access Hollywood, TMZ, there's no way that he would have showed them that same disrespect or that lack of just, I don't care. There is no way that he would have had that same laissez-faire attitude towards any of those major white mainstream networks. He would have been there suited and booted with a button-up shirt, all teeth, ready to get this big interview with, you know what I'm saying, E! News or TMZ. Because it's a smaller media outlet and it's a black woman interviewing him, he feels like he really doesn't have to have any respect for her or for her time. You know, even the way he was answering the questions, it's like he didn't want to be bothered. And now can I also hold the female accountable? I'm trying to figure out what type of woman also doesn't have enough restraint to understand that this man is doing an interview with another black woman so much so that you would continue giving him head and slurping in the background like this shit is cute. You know, it's like, what type of sexual energy are y'all trying to pull this interviewer into? Don't use me for sexual gratification and weirdo shit. I didn't come here to be voyeuristic in your little sex capades. I came here to conduct a professional interview. And the fact that this woman had no problem slurping him up and Stevie J had no problem allowing her to do this during this interview with this black woman was just all the way disgusting and disrespectful. 
I, you know, I, I think this woman, Leah, definitely handled her business, but I don't have a lot of patience for bullshit. You know, kudos to her. But I think at some point in time as black media, we got to understand when we're being played and disrespected. Like I always say, don't go where you're tolerated. Go where you're respected and uplifted. So if he was too busy to take your interview serious or he thought your platform was beneath him, so much so that he came on there naked and was getting head and, you know, was low-key moaning and finding it hard to concentrate, I think at that point I would have been like, you know what, Stevie, uh, we could do this another day. If you're interested, you contact me when you're ready. You know, because this is just a joke and this is just really embarrassing. Like I said, she held her own, but there was nothing cool about what he did and I do not believe that he would have did that with a white media outlet or a white woman he wouldn't have did that but because it's a sister it's like well I can just treat her any type of way and treat her platform any type of way because I'm Stevie J and I think at some point in time black media has to get on the ball and start holding these you know celebrities accountable if you're going to come on my platform and not respect my platform then you know you shouldn't be getting interviews because it seems to me that him and a lot of people off of love and hip hop, they seem to forget that it's the blogs and black media that kept their name out here and gave them a level of fame. It damn sure wasn't white media. I can't even Google any interviews that he's done with white media in the past few years because they're not checking for him. It's black media that's checking for him. So he should have respected black media a little bit better because once again, it's black media that keeps his name out there, Jocelyn's name out there, Mimi, and everybody else in the whole love and hip hop, you know, universe. It's us that keeps their names out there. So just a little bit more respect, Stevie. You know what I'm saying? We fuck with you as a producer. We know you're a man of many talents. We know that you're another King Kong Long Dong because you and your son were sitting there posing naked on Grown Up Hip Hop. You know what I'm saying? So we know all this. But the only thing is I feel like you should have had way more respect for that young woman and her platform. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping, honey. Let me know y'all's thoughts on this entire ratchet situation, honey. Concerning Stevie J., in the middle of an interview, straight up getting head and everything else. How did you guys feel about this? Do you guys find this disturbing? Do you feel like, oh, well, that's just Stevie J. It is what it is. Or do you feel like, you know, unfortunately, some black artists do not treat black media outlets with the same level of respect that they do for white media outlets? So let me know your thoughts. Make sure you hit that subscribe button in the event that you've been unsubscribed. Don't forget to like the video. Make sure you share the video as well. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. Deuces.